Like, Don't forget you what I do. I have. I want in there, so I do. Yes. <laughs> Pleasure of my life, for sure. Uh, so yes, it's gonna be a couples Q and A kind of a thing. So, so we are gonna <laughs> ask each other a question, and uh, one of us is gonna answer. Uh, most likely, I'm gonna say the truth. She's gonna lie. It's how it works. Okay, you wanna ask the first question? How did you have um, the chance to meet me? <laughs> <laughs> so yes, the first question is how did you two meet? We met in New York, no? Yeah, it was in the in the library. So I was there because I love to to read and uh, then I was uh, like uh, checking for my books and you were like following me around in the library <laughs> trying to... Because, uh, it's, it's not really yeah, yeah. Two hours later... So actually if you watch our Netflix show You, that is exactly our story, this is how I met, but the gender roles are reversed. Yeah, and uh, no one killed anyone in this case. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was the fake story of us uh, meeting. How we actually met was uh, via Tinder. Thank you, Tinder. Matched in New York uh, on Tinder, but we didn't uh, really meet face to face. I was supposed to be in New York uh, in October, and he was in New York in September. So while he was there, I was not there. I we swiped and we matched, and we have been talking. But uh, by the time I was in New York, he has already flown off. Uh, he came back to Paris. Yeah, my vacation was over. And if you didn't know, he's French and he lives in Paris. So yeah, he's not American, guys. <laughs> it's hard to believe, uh, <laughs> taking into account my accent, that I'm not American. Yeah, but yeah, breaking news, I'm French. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how we met. Well, no, but that's how we matched on Tinder. We never met face to face. We were chatting with each other for six, seven months until he decided to come to Sri Lanka, and then we met face to face. Yes. Okay, so next question. What are your first impressions of each other? I thought uh, that you are really nice. That's it? <laughs> yes, it's true. You are like nice and, uh, and open-minded and easygoing. So it was nice to, to talk to you. No, but I saw that in the beginning, I didn't imagine I would ever uh, meet you. Yeah, that we, we never thought that we will date each other or like, uh, you know, go out with each other. Not like other pretty guys on Tinder, most of them like ask really weird questions or they don't know how to carry out a conversation. So for me, it was easier for me to have a good conversation with him. You were not pretending, you were like real. Next question How long have we been dating? We matched on Tinder in 2015. Yes, in summer. We met each other in 2016. Early 2016. In March. So we have been together for five years. Yes. <laughs> so we got married in two years actually, getting to know each other. Almost three years. Okay, moving on to the next question. Who said I love you first? Why you did? Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, your favorite thing about each other. What is your favorite thing about me? I don't know. <laughs> Everything? No, let me finish. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I don't know because sometimes it's hard to answer a question when there is uh, when you don't have any options. <laughs> but when you have lots of options, it's already quite hard to answer the question. I know, I know. So if I was you, it would be difficult for me also because I have, I, I know I have a lot of uh, amazing qualities. One eternity later. Uh, so my favorite thing about you, family values. I think it's like really, uh, he loves his family a lot. That's something I really love. <laughs> and for me, my favorite and thing, sense of humor. My favorite thing he makes about me love. you, it's your infinite beauty. Oh my god! <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it's true. Yes. My, it's my favorite thing about me too. It's my infinite beauty. <laughs> no, actually, what I like a lot is that you are really. Uh, like a really nice person, really kind, <laughs> and it comes from the. I can feel it come from the heart, so I really like it. No, but it's true. This part is true. It's not a joke. Yes, and I like when you laugh also. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 
you're kind. You're nice. You have a good heart. Yes, and um, well, I like the fact that you are genuine. Yes, and your yeah. sense of humor. I like my sense of humor. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm yes. saying. But about yours? <laughs> I think I'm hilarious. Yes. <laughs> uh, moving on, let's go to the next question. Very fast. Uh, who says sorry after a fight? Um, it's, it's a complicated question. Mm -hmm. First of all, do we fight? The answer <laughs> is not really. Yes. Does she fight? The answer <laughs> is yes. With who? The answer is no one knows. <laughs> but, okay, let me let me say. So how after she me... after she fights <laughs> with me for no reason and she's all sad or more sulking. I go and I apologize for something I didn't do because it makes me feel bad to see her in this uh, state. I do fight, but I fight alone because he doesn't contribute to the fight. He, he's just chill. He's chill like that when I'm like really mad or something. I go and I suck. I don't talk at all. And then he realizes that he, I'm sulking and then he usually comes and uh, says sorry. <laughs> but, even though it, but that's all the guys watching on them. That's how you do it. Yeah, it's how it works. She's mad. She's not thinking anymore. Say sorry, she's back to thinking and then eventually she will realize that you didn't do anything. Yeah, and true. she will actually apologize for sulking for no reason. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so the moral of the story, <laughs> guys, just suck it up, say sorry, and uh, wait a little bit, it's gonna come back to you. Period. Do you fight often? Do you get mad at each other? So we just answered this question. No, but sometimes I get mad at you also. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's mainly when I'm in a bad mood and it's really short. Yeah. Because uh, I'm not really, I don't really stay mad at someone for a long period of time. That's true. It's more uh, in, impulsive madness. Yeah. Same for me as well. Like if I'm in a really bad mood or something, I can be really uh, harsh. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, but we always say sorry. We always like recognize the situation and we always make sure that if if I did something wrong, if I knew that I I hurt him. I always go and he does the same. He always say like, you know, I'm sorry. Yeah, same for me. When she does something wrong, <laughs> I'm just being really tolerant and I say sorry. <laughs> it's true actually. Uh, who is your free pass or celebrity crush? There's no. Let me start by saying this is he's taken. It's all mine. There's no free pass for anybody. All mine. No, it's funny, but when you ask me a question, <laughs> it's better if I'm the one who is answering no, the uh, said question. It's not my question. Yes, I know, but you are <laughs> looking at me, stating a okay, question. Okay, go, 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 answer. go, answer, answer. No, there is no celebrity crush or whatsoever. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> so, yeah, next question. Uh, what is your favorite TV show to watch together? Mm, I don't know. We didn't really have a... Game of Thrones! Yes, yeah, Game of Thrones, but Game of Thrones is, uh, is yeah. long gone now. That's true. But we, I don't think we have we found a TV show as much as we enjoyed Game of Thrones together. Yeah, I think so. Mm. For me, there are TV show I like to watch and I'm craving to, to have the next uh, season. But unfortunately, the TV shows that we like don't get picked up for season 2. Yeah, so, so it's no problem. So. Yeah. We liked Dark. Yes, I like Dark. Yeah. But it's, it's going a little in the. I, I, want, <laughs> I, wanted, I wanted to say it's going a little bit in the loop. But, but, uh, uh, it's the whole purpose <laughs> of the, the show. That's the point of the show anyway. Black I, Mirror, no. No, I, I don't Often black. I don't remember, but uh, there is one show I really like. It's called uh, <laughs> Final Space. So if you can all watch it and enjoy it, so that they keep doing more and more <laughs> seasons. <laughs> if you don't do it for you, do it for me, please. <laughs> and Disenchantment as well, I like it. Your favorite game to play together? I like to play together Crash Team Racing on PlayStation 4 without uh, to make uh, any publicity. But uh, I love Crash, yes. Yeah. But Age of Empire. Yeah, we like to play Age of Empire as well. And Petank. Petank, yes. <laughs> How do you say? Petank. Yes, I was from Petank. When are you going to make babies? To make what? Babies. <laughs> Baby! <laughs> what, what is that? Next question. How often do you have sex? <laughs> uh, I don't understand why anyone would want to know this. 
It's a... Uh... So, in general, we have sex. What is your next vacation? Oh, I would love to know this answer also. What is my next vacation? Just we are France, stuck in COVID. So we expect that we will be able to go in South of France for two weeks, but we are not sure because uh, it might be another lockdown, but we hope not. We hope not, yes. Well, we cancelled Sri Lanka. We were supposed to go last November. We were supposed to go to uh, West Coast, uh, USA, the April last year also. We cancelled all that. Thankfully, we got all the refunds back. Thank you, all the airlines. If you're watching, I'm sure they're not. <laughs> uh, I want to go to Greece next, I, th I think. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I miss Sri Lanka also. Actually, I wish my next vacation would be Sri Lanka. No, actually, for me also. Yeah, yeah I'm missing Sri Lanka. I want to go. Okay, so next question What makes Shamili angry? When I wake you up in the morning. Yes. Fact. What makes you angry? What makes me angry? When he's hungry. Moving on. <laughs> oh, yes! Oh, yes! He has a lot of road rage. I think Antoine gets annoyed or angry because of selfish and bad drivers. What is the biggest deal breaker for you? Cheating or lying for me? Yeah, I don't know. Being, not being genuine. Hmm. Being full of uh, oneself. Dishonesty. No, but, but uh, for me... Uh, both, are, both are for me like a deal breaker. Yeah, being full of yourself. It's more like uh, being a narcissist number one and the number two is like uh, dishonesty mm. yeah. and also if someone does not understand sarcasm oh yeah it's a deal breaker because yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the sense of humor i would say no yes and sarcasm yeah. is understanding because uh, yeah. actually usually it's not only a deal breaker for me it's also <laughs> a deal breaker for the other person yeah. because uh, she can get like quite quite upset yeah that's true. whatever i say so oh yeah that's true oh for me also i don't yeah. like people who doesn't understand sarcasm no offense people yeah and, they, and people who don't understand sarcasm they don't like me also <laughs> most of the true. time <laughs> yes i'm talking about uh, sarcasms I've got a uh, tiny message I want to send to someone. If you are watching Akisha, no, you are not the one who knows about sarcasm. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that in this domain, I can master you quite easily. <laughs> she is talking to my pet, Chutta, my cousin. <laughs> uh, okay, what is your uh, favorite physical feature about your wife or husband? Ah, favorite physical <laughs> feature. I'll let you finish because I know it takes time for you to finish on this because it's a long day. Mm -hmm. I really like the top of your head. <laughs> no. Okay, so my favorite feature is your smile. And when he smiles, he has like 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 wrinkles in around yeah. his eyes. Not that he's old, that like, you know. So, so basically, she's saying that she likes me getting old. <laughs> This I'm not uh, sure it's a good thing. It's not a bad thing but either. I don't. And your beard. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. Aww. Okay. I think too that your smile is the best I've seen in the world. Yes, that's true. In the world. What? <laughs> <laughs> yes. There's a lot of questions actually, and we. We won't be able to answer all of them, so let's wrap it up with one last one, okay? Yeah, that's okay. Uh, advice to have a good relationship slash marriage. Choose well in the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Choose well in the beginning and uh, don't marry someone uh, just uh, for peer pressure or... think you're getting old, if your parents are uh, pressuring you, if the society is pressuring you, all your friends got married, those are not reasons to get for you to get married. You get married when you are absolutely ready and only if you find the right person. If not, no. Yes, and before getting married, it's good also to uh, to be able to spend a little time living with the person also because uh, there is a huge difference between knowing someone casually like, like or yeah. seeing someone casually for vacation one week or two weeks and in everyday life basis. Uh, Sometimes uh, you can also be surprised and if you have not seen it before getting married, then it cannot be a good surprise also. Yeah, that's true. And yes, and then uh, to be understanding, tolerant, 
to listen and to compromise? I think you said the best advice, uh, put yourself in other person's shoes. That's, that's very good advice. Yes, actually, yeah. yeah. When you're going through a difficult time, always try to understand where the other person is coming from. Right? Yes, it's like whatever you feel or whatever you see in a situation that involves someone else, you try to put yourself in the other one's shoe, and then it can help you have more insight, try to uh, find the right uh, gesture or the right thing to think to the other, to, like, to, to ease everything. Yeah, and uh, I think ego, P put your egos aside because ego is something really stupid to have. Once you are in a relationship, once you know that this is the person you are going to spend the rest of your life with, put your egos aside and just be real. This is how I, I would say. Yes, you have mm. nothing to you have nothing to prove to someone who loves you exactly. because the person already loves you. So yeah, regardless, despite you love, despite you like because you love, despite I love this thing. Well, that's about it. Sorry, we didn't answer all the questions because we didn't have time. But next time, hopefully, you will do another video with me. Uh, we'll see. He doesn't have a choice. Comment down below if you really liked the video. And, and if you didn't really like the video, you don't have to comment. It's okay, it's alright. It's alright, but just put a <laughs> thumbs up anyway, even if you like or not. But <laughs> subscribe if you want us to do more videos together and it's gonna be fun. And see you next time. Bye!